in this book, uh, How Women Rise, which um, uh, I don't know that you mentioned, but I will mention it's co-authored by the legendary Marshall Goldsmith. Um, it takes a look at uh, professional behaviors of women and speaks of how they define success versus men. I think I thought this was very interesting. In one area, you explained that some of the key motivators for women include enjoying coworkers and clients, having control over their time, and believing their work makes a positive difference. From my perspective, I actually think these qualities are increasingly what we see in the modern workplace. And so my question for you is, can men learn something from women um, in terms of the way that women think about the workplace today? Not only can men learn something from women, but men have, as you know, have learned much from women. And what has been extraordinary for me with this big, long perspective that I have is to watch the way in which the workplace and all our presumptions about what work is for and the role, purpose and passion and mission and uh, the development of character play in our work, looking at how that has changed over the last, say, 40 years. And the role that women have played in it, which I think is often under acknowledged. So the workplace that has been evolving uh, and part of it has just you know, been the changes in technology. Part of it has been changes in demographics. Part of it has been the switch to a knowledge economy, as Peter Drucker really foresaw, that a knowledge economy gives individuals more power, which makes them more comfortable asserting what they need vis-a-vis uh, -vis the organization. So I think that and also just the way people have been rearing children to speak up for themselves and say what they need and have expectations. Sometimes I, uh, I hear reports that that can be irritating, but it also gives, it gives people real belief that work should be a satisfying experience. And so, yes, I find that men and women more and more also have this idea. Of course, work is for making money. Of course, we work to support our families and, and support the way that we want to live. And that's a key and important part of it. Um, but we also, as human beings in 2020, and for the last 20 years, want to get more out of work. We put so much more time into work than people did 40 years ago. Uh, that we we really expect it to be enjoyable and nurturing and to have relationships that that matter. 